Padre Carrington with the rain pouring down. This isn't going to phase the Irishman. His third at the par 5 eighth. Manages the slope and boom! Knocks it in for Eagle. That gets Harrington to eight under par. At TPC Sugarloaf at the Mitsubishi Electric Classic. Playing his second. I was going to say, pretty good shot there. Oh, and it almost goes down for Miguel. That's outstanding. Even lost his hat over. <laughs> now Ken Duke for birdie at 17. Right on track. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Arkansas native Ken Duke, who is instrumental along with Glenn Day at getting the PGA Tour champions to come to Little Rock and second for Singh at the ninth. Yeah, just in the left rough, it tells you how long this golf hole is playing. He's got over 220 to the flag, kind of another little slow runner up the center of the green. That is a really good shot. Outstanding from where he was. That's amazing, VJ. This man has all the shots, no question. Be like stealing here. About yeah. eight feet, not much to this one. Did he hit it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he's creeping in there. What a great birdie. Yeah, it took his time breaking, but that was perfect pace, and that got it to move right into the middle. Pretty good looking lie here for the first cut of rough, just throwing it up in the air. Not much green to work with. That is really well done. Great play there by Goose. Put him back to nine. It does. Only a couple back. He's right there. And we'll follow the tee shot with Trackman Technology. Well, he's sure. by service now. Yeah, he's set up to hit a draw. Had his feet aimed at that right bunker. Great shot, though. Knew what he was doing, but he got off the tee. Padre Carrington, second and 12. Downhill second shot to the 12th. Whole location's gettable and good shot there by Podrick. A lot of Razorback shirts here in Arkansas as Alker playing his third into the 10th. This is from around 190. Way back there, but landed perfectly. Oh, and this is going to get better. Wow. This is an yeah. incredible golf shot. That's just a great shot, Cookie. That's in there. It looks like about six feet. Jason Karen's third at the 10th. 76 yards for Jason Cairn from the fairway. It's on a nice line. Should spin. It does. Excellent play there. Take into consideration the fact that he's tied for seventh with four other players. But he's got an opportunity here if he keeps doing that. And he doesn't have a bogey on the scorecard yet this week. Padre Carrington. A chance to join him at 10 under over at the 12th. There you go. So Harrington started his day with a bogey, birdied four and five, eagled eight, birdies 10 and 12. Let's see if Rod Pampling can roll this in for birdie after that nice tee shot at the par 317. Yeah, about 23 or four feet for Rodney. Did he hit it? Yes, he did. What a round Rod has going today. With a bogey, no less. I bet VJ controls he the spin can, here. Absolutely. Nice little soft arm swing right there. Yeah, there's the difference right there. One guy is a Hall of Famer, one guy is not. Jimenez, second at 12. Oh, great shot by Miguel. Got it to spin out of the rough. That was well done. Good look here for Miguel. Not much in this. Yes. yes. So Miguel Angel Jimenez with another birdie. And he's at 11 under par. Should have gotten a little bit of a read from Alcris, but that it bit. didn't go right. Yeah, it doesn't so do much. Very straight for VJ. Oh, I wasn't sure he hit it, but he did. Great birdie three for VJ. Really a well played hole. Good look for Goosen here. This is simple. Yes. So he's at 10 under. 
Well, he didn't like this over yesterday. He fanned it over to the right and made double bogey. Let's see if Thomas can be most improved. I think he is. Yes. Definitely most improved here. 13 today for Thomas. But Kusin has this left for par. Missed the green at the par three. This to stay a shot off the lead and money oh. for Goosen. I'll tell you, Bob, Goosen's starting to make some putts. Thomas Bjorn for birdie at 13. Got to keep it up. It will go right. Good putt. So he gets to within two of the lead. Big improvement over yesterday. He was three shots better on this hole today. Partnership with Stevens. And up at the clubhouse, they've got the second story. And you can see all three of the final holes from up there. And they have binoculars sitting up there where you can watch all three holes from the clubhouse. Very cool. Great shot. Look at this. Roger will tap in his birdie putt at 15. So Harrington joins the group at 11 under. Great look. Whole location right over that bunker on the right hand side. Goose is going after it. Yes, he is. How sweet was that swing? Oh, that was gorgeous. Jason Karen from way down there at 13. Short sided on the upslope, but this is a really nice, well played shot. And there's no par. <laughs> what a shot. Yeah, he'll run something off in bunches. Very capable of birding, you know, from here to the house, really. <laughs> Good putt by Thomas Bjorn. Over at 14. Really well done. Now back at 14, Goosen for his birdie to join the party at 11 under. In the center, you're on your own. That's where it is. <laughs> Pretty clean contact. It's on a nice line. Oh, yeah. Golf shot. What a great play by Karen. Beautiful. It's straight up in the air. But those two shots. How about it? Need something to go down. This would be a good one. Yeah, baby. That was murder, but dead center. Second birdie of the day for Alker. Hiroyuki Fujita. As this putt for Birdie at 16, this for two in a row. Remember, he had the lead at the U.S. Senior Open through each of the first three rounds. And he pours that in. Over at 16, Miguel Angel Jimenez playing his second, coming off a bogey at the last. Yeah, dangerous hole location over at that left side. Can't miss anything left. Come down. Come down, off that Come down. Come down. There he goes. Miguel Angel Jimenez for his birdie. Down the hill. Yes! Bounces back after the bogey at 15. How about this fan turnout, Lanny? Considering the rain that we had this morning and then at the start of the second round, this is Harrington's third at 18. Remember, he pitched in for Eagle at the eighth. Belly did. Went with the old belly play. Quick down that slope. Not bad. Pretty well done from there. This is Harrington's birdie putt at 18 to give Podrick the outright lead. Yeah. So Podrick Harrington bogeyed the opening hole. Hiroyuki Fujita for his birdie to get to 10 under. Did he hit it? Oh! Wildly popular in Japan. Yeah, this is very holdable right here. Perfect lie. A little check and release. It took a look. It was really well done. So Steven Alker. 
shoots two under 70 here in round two. Through 36, Alker projected to move to number one in the Schwab Cup standings. He and Harrington share the lead going into Sunday. Goosen, Jimenez, Singh, Karen, Pampling, Fujita, all just two back with Stuart Sink and KJ Choi leading that group at nine under par.